use the I squared C signal type to decode two channels using the full I squared C serial protocol. We have already added an I squared C signal to our project and captured some data. Let's see the signals configuration options by opening the editor. Click on the signals name or select edit from its menu. We will skip the general options and describe the options unique to this signal. The clock channel, or data channel, can be inverted before decoding, if needed. We can decode the special C bus address, or treat it as a normal address. There are two reserved addresses in the spec. Choose to decode them as a normal address, or as reserved. There are also high-speed master codes in the spec. If you are not using these codes, then select normal address for this option. Truncated fields specifies whether to show truncated, partial, fields or not, and whether to only show if they are greater than one bit. Select, show ax, to have all ax displayed in the output. Select, show idles, to have idle time displayed. Select to decode 10-bit codes, or treat them as a normal address. The I squared C spec defines 7-bit addresses, and a single direction bit, as a read-write indicator in the first field. Sometimes it is convenient to think of this as a single 8-bit value. This option specifies whether to show these 8 bits as two fields, or as a single 8-bit field. The glitch filter selects the amount of noise filtering. This should be set to 50 nanoseconds for low speed buses, and reduced for fast buses. Skip bits specifies how many bits to ignore at the start of the buffer. Useful for syncing up when the capture starts mid frame. This concludes our I squared C demonstration.